Good night. Hey, everybody. Welcome in. Hi, Isaac. Welcome, welcome. Amy, take it away. Yo, what is up, friends? So, we are back after a month-long hiatus from both Pathfinder and D&D. Horrible. I hate this. Um, as always, I am your dungeon master for this evening. My name is Emmy, and I use they, them pronouns. Woohoo. Um, let's start it off with the owner of this channel. JD, you start. Yay. Hi, I'm JD. He, him. I play, uh, Jahan, the Fire Genasi Sorcerer, with Attitude. Alrighty, and next we'll we'll go in order of the stream. So next up will be Red. Hello, my name is Red. My pronouns are he, him. I play Zato, the Fire Genasi Warlock, and Zato is paranoid. What do you do? Consistently. Next up will be Lemon. Hold on one second. Um, can they hear us, JD? They should be able to. Give me one second. Be able to, be able yeah, to. it's probably on their end. The sound is there. Yes, the sound is there. Okay. Um, sorry, I was I had double voices going on at the moment. Mm -hmm. Um, so I am Lemon. I um go by she her pronouns. My character is normal, the um, halfling barbarian. And I have my little cat GIF. Alrighty, I was just making sure that we can hear him too, and I, it was fine on my end. So yeah, I had to check your stuff. And then next up, and last but not least, is Chris. The... Hi, I am Chris. My pronouns are he, him. I play the character Phalet, who is also paranoid, and kind of, a, and also a very curious one. So we'll find out what he gets into this session. Woo! And last we left off in our little journey, companionship, whatever, we left out. We left off with the group fighting the other dragon that came onto the scene after the the group killed the first dragon. Um, I don't think. Anyone actually went down in the group besides the mysterious spellcaster healer that joined uh, Jahan as he was walking to find you guys. And he went down, you guys saved him, yay. And you guys, after the battle, you pulled your carriage that was now fixed, thanks to Jahan and his mending spell, into the woods you guys could hide away for the night and get some rest. So, let's do any um, bookkeeping, I guess, of what you guys are doing. You guys... Did you guys... Or, uh, this is where I forget, because we haven't done this in a month, and I forgot what we said earlier. Did you guys... Did we actually do shifts for sleeping? We set up or shifts... Not? Jahan was the first one to knock out. Right. Yes, we did shifts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jahan had the last shift, and he's woken. He um, he finishes, and think he woke everyone up. Yes, and I believe uh, Noam will hit Jahan. I did. After we woke. After we woke up, because no, I, I am. I woke you up to do your shift. Yeah, well, because I'm down four points. Correct, because you'd already slept. Mm -hmm. Right, yes, I remember that now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Alrighty. So, Did we everyone... ever get the purple dude's name? Nope, never got his name. We never even got okay. it. <laughs> I remember okay. that. I just wanted to know if I needed to dig through my sticky notes or not. But that's okay. My so... character wouldn't care what his name is. You all wake up. And after Jahan was rudely slapped 
and how to stay up for the rest of the shift. Um, let's... So, Jahan is already awake, because it is his last shift. Jahan, the sun is starting to rise up. And you can hear, like, noises outside of the carriage of, like, birds starting to chirp in just the woods around you coming to life. What do you want to do as everyone else sleeps? Um, let's see. I want... I'm just going to look at my staff a little bit, since I now have the new Staff of Thunder and Lightning. Mm-hmm. Why well, gave that to you? Yep. Why did I... Because it was in the pack from the library that Jahan and Balin went to mess around yeah. in. I also have the armor, which is just sitting on the floor of the carriage. And then mm-hmm. the dragon book, which is near uh, normal. Mm-hmm. And, uh... There... So, Jahan has two scrolls now of level one scrolls. Yes. Obviously, his first one was Earth Tremor. Yes. We decided that. Now, we didn't decide... We I didn't tell you, but I did finally choose what the second one was. And that will be? Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave. Wow, you're literally just jacking him up with thunder stuff, aren't you? At this point, like, literally, he is becoming a firebender. At this point, yeah. With a bit of acid sprinkled in there. I mean, yeah, immunity to stuff like that, but yeah. He does not have any spells that are acid-based. That is the only thing. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Come to cut really red. (laughs) (laughs) As you are looking at your staff. I want you to make a let's go, let's do an arcana check for me. Arcana? Yes. Uh, 17. 17. Thank god that's the highest thing I have. (laughs) You can feel magic like flowing out of the staff. Specifically now since you have attuned with it, you can feel your innate magic, the magic that has always flown through your blood, you, and through you, you can feel, like, a bit of the magic from the staff, like, mixing with yours, as your magic, like, finally takes over, and, you know, it's like, your magic and the magic of the staff are, are, like, mixing, and they're just trying to, like, weave together as they're trying to figure out, like, as it's trying to figure out, like, you are my new owner. I need to, like, recal- like, it, need- it just, like, it's recalibrating a bit. But yeah, you feel that, and it's a weird feeling for you. Because you've never had, like, a magical item like this before. Like, yeah, you've held your father's, like, bard stuff before, like, some of his instruments, but you haven't felt the connection to it like you feel a connection to this. Jahan just gives a little smirk, and then he takes this- he takes his quarterstaff that he has on his back, Mm-hmm. And he's going to shove it into the pack. Because it is a shorter quarter staff because he's still a child. Okay. And he's just going to put his new staff of thunder and lightning on his back. Or his okay. quarter staff ones. The new primary weapon, I see. Nice. Okay. So at this point... You can see the purple tiefling in the corner. 
the mysterious person who has now helped you guys in battle has almost died trying to help you guys fight. He is just starting now to, like, wake up. And with your going arcana check, you can still feel, like, a, like a residual bit of magic on him. As it, like, slowly, like, drifts away from what you can perceive. And he's just looking around, like, tiredly, and then he just looks at you and he just stares at you. Not saying anything. Uh, and with that, Jahan is gonna wake the rest of the group up. Who do you decide to wake up first? Uh, Zato, then Thalen. Hi, I'm me. Because you're the oh, one he what? fears the least. Wow. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, you are his younger half brother. Okay. <laughs> so. Jahan, how do you wake up Zato? Uh... How would I? Hit me at your own risk. <laughs> uh, Jahan is gonna... Is Zato sleeping in a pack? Or just has something over him? You guys give me that? Yeah, that's um, a you thing, dude. That's not a me thing. Uh, is he sleeping in one of those bed rolls, or is he just... Yes. yes. Uh, okay. Jahan is gonna grab the end of the bed roll near Zato's feet and just pull. Okay. Thanks, jerk. <laughs> so yeah, you... Uh, Zato wakes up with like a bit of like... Like, all of a sudden, like, you're asleep, and then all of a sudden you're, like, rolling a bit on the floor. And you open your eyes and you just see Jahan there. I bet I want you to, like, imagine how happy I was. <laughs> and Jahan goes, wake no more up. And then he goes and wakes, uh, Thalen up. By literally pulling his... Uh, pulling his two the same way. Okay. And Phelan, you get the same wake up as you just, you're sleeping and then you feel like you're starting to roll in your bed, like your bed roll is starting to shift underneath you as you then, when you open your eyes, you just look up at Jahan who is holding your bed roll and then lets it go. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Time to wake up. Okay, that's a fine wake up. Would you much rather have me hit you? No. Good. Okay, and now everyone has waken up but no more. Who, let's say, Zato, are you going to wake Normal up? I guess. Okay, what do you do to wake Normal up? I just tap her shoulder a couple times. So, Normal, you can feel like the light tapping on your shoulder. Normal wakes up. Okay. And you wake up to see. Zato, like, awkwardly tapping on your shoulder. Gotcha. That don't say anything. So now all of you are awake. But everyone who is in the cart is now awake. And you're free to do whatever you want. What do you want to do? Jahan sits back down and looks at the, um... The new kid that's in their miss and literally goes, talk. Huh? 
talk. In... Hi? He, like, he looks extremely put on the spot and nervous as, like, you just tell him to talk. He's just, like, kind of stammering over his words. And he has, like, his staff in his lap. And he's just, like, like just, like, rolling it over in his arm. Like, he's fidgeting with it, basically. It's like, oh, um, um. Uh, he's just stammering. Jahan's just looking at him. Like, just looking at him as if Jahan knows he's gonna say something sooner or later. Um. Uh, they, he's going... Tiefling is going to look towards Zato. Because Zato was the one who actually saved him and cured him from dying even though like he can barely remember it because he didn't wake up and restore himself until now after like that long rest he's just gonna go look at Zato and he's gonna go thank thank you thank you for uh, helping me that no. was you right oh. yes I saved him thank, thank you no problem. Ignore mm. also just ignore him. He's not exactly the nicest human or whatever he is. I don't even think he's a species of his own, honestly. You're both the same species. I don't care, he's different. <laughs> okay. That attitude. Well, 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 when he said when uh Zeno says a species of his own, you can kinda see a smirk come from Jahan. Um, well, I walked with him on the way over here before the battle, so... Yeah, no, I got that. Um, I didn't catch your names, I don't think. Oh. Can I just introduce everybody? Um, at, th at this hmm. point, Nomo's gonna get up, and she's gonna grab the book that... Um, Johan put next to her and just put it away and then she's gonna go out of the cart and try and um, figure out how we're gonna um, continue on this journey because she doesn't okay. want to have anything to do with me knowing new people or whatnot okay so when you get out of the cart what exactly are you trying to like look for or do um well, the horses ran away. They did. Yes. So, um, she's just trying to try and figure out and th see, think of a solution to their problem. Because they can't pull the cart without horses. Okay. Uh, no more. I'll actually give you, like, a few minutes real time to try to figure out what you want to do. Yeah, no, that's fine. Or that situation? I don't even know what I want to do. Nomo just wants to get out of the cart. Gotcha. So we're gonna take a few minutes away and go back into the cart. Where Tiefling is just looking at the, the rest of the three of you. Nomo just walked out. Okay. She doesn't want to... I don't... Um... Well, let's start over, I guess? Um... Hi, I'm nothing. Are, is that your name? Yes, I'm nothing. It, your name is nothing. Yes. Um, it's like, uh, you're, it's it's a tiefling thing. Um, when like sometimes when tieflings get to certain ages, like, we take on names for our own. And oh. my, na my name is nothing. Because I am nothing. That's besides the point. Who are you? I'm Zato, and he just points at everyone when he says this one. Uh, that's Jahan, Phelan, and Nomal. Okay, was Nomal the one that walked outside? 
Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, Zato, I think he's gonna point to you guys as you like. Zato, Jahan, Fela. Already. And that's Nomo okay. over there. Nomo, okay. Yes, out there. Who is our leader for this? Who is your leader? He's gonna look like a tiny bit confused and then just like shakes it. It's like, okay. Really? Yes. Huh. Honestly, I thought one of you two would be the leader, and then he points to Jahan and then to you. What well, makes you say that? Um. I don't know. Just a feeling. But, um. Yeah. So. Where are you guys headed? Good question, actually. <laughs> Ooh, we don't really know. Or at least I don't. Does anyone besides Noble remember where they're, where you guys are going? <laughs> no. Okay. And it's gonna go, alright, um, well, my, well, what's, what's your, what are you guys doing, then? You know, we don't even know. Yeah. You don't know what you're doing, and you just killed the two dragons? Yep. Yeah, that's, yeah. It's what we do. Our parents are some of the strongest adventurers you'll ever meet, if you ever get a chance. You didn't need to say that. Oh? And now he, like, looks at Jahan, and he's, like, kind of intrigued. He's like, who, who are your parents? Hmm. Doesn't matter. We'll be stronger than them soon enough. And then he's gonna look back at Phelan and Zato. He's, he's not gonna answer my questions, is he? Nope. Yeah, good luck. No. To you two, who are your parents? Same as his. Not proud of it. Same. Okay. I point out uh, John. Do all of you have the same parents? No. Just, no. No, 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 no. Just you two. Wow, your 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 wait, your brothers? I'm not proud of it. Good to know. But seriously, like who why are you together? You're you're just like you're a bunch you're a bunch of kids. We, it's because we both had a common goal and we just decided to get together. To find a certain thing that our parents have hid away. Exactly. And that thing is? Personal. Very personal. Yeah, we don't want to get into the, it's like the depths of it. Let's. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm sorry for I'm sorry for pushing. Very good. Um Why are you here? I um I got separated from my brother and my sister. Oh. Oh. And uh I, I don't know where they went. Um my my brother is in charge and he I like where you guys just came from, they were there. And then when I I got left behind, I think. So uh Yeah. Um I don't know where they're going next. I don't I don't remember them talking about where they were going next, so Yeah. Uh, I'm just here I guess. Um until you guys drop me off at the next town you're going to. 
Yay. We need it a way to get there like... first. Well, um, uh, why, why do you say that? If you can tell, we don't have anything to pull this thing. Oh, right. The horses. They ran away. Mm-hmm. Well, don't... Um... And I'm just gonna look, really? No. Uh, he's... He's gonna go, um... Can't you... Don't... Do one of you guys have, like, have spells to, like, talk to animals or something? Or, like, call animals back? Not me. Someone does. <clears throat> Not I. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't oh. you? And he looks at Phelan. Oh, yeah. We yeah. Both, we both just look at Phelan. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I do. Then, then can't you... Can't you find the horses? Yeah, I'll go find the horses. Because if we don't, we'll be stranded. Probably best if you take no more with you. We're already stranded. Yeah. So, uh, oh, do, do you wanna, do you want me to help? I can, I can, I can't do that much. I can't talk with animals, but, like, I can help, ish. That is up to our leader to decide. Okay. To the gnome. No, not the gnome. To the half, you're a gnome. To the halfling. Okay. And he's just gonna, like, get up kind of, like, begrudgingly for some reason. And he's gonna go outside the cart. Is anyone going to follow him to go to Noble? Uh, Nahan is sitting where he is. I feel I probably should since. Yeah, I'm, I actually go up to follow them. Okay. So. They. Go in. So you guys head out of the cart. Or whoever heads out of the cart heads out of the cart. And you go to Nomo. Nomo, what are you doing as you are trying to figure out what to do with, with like, trying to get the horses back? Okay, so Nomo is currently looking at a route map, because Nomo was digging through their pack and discovered they have a route map. And he's trying mm -hmm. to see if... It would just be easier to walk all the way back to the town they were just at, get more horses, and then come back. Okay. Um, so looking at the map, trying to see if they um, can figure out how far they've been. Because um, they know they haven't traveled very far. Um, because they've figured out, or they can't come up with any solution in their head other than needing horses. Okay. So, I want you to give me a, let's call this a survival check. Okay. As you're trying to figure out stuff based on a map and what you think is best. Okay. Um, I have to re-roll that one because I'm lucky and I rolled in that one. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. I rolled a two, so it's a five. Okay. So, you're thinking since what was it? Uh, like you coming to this point 
and Jahan catching up with you, it took like maybe three hours to get up to this point, or three and a half hours to get up to this point. And then you had the whole dragon thing, and then you were exhausted, and then you just fell, and then you hid, fell asleep. So it's like three hours isn't the worst walk back. And you don't know how far the horses could have gone. So at this so point, a, I'm going to notice it's a, that... It's a viable option. Continue. Gotcha. Um, so at this point, I'm going to see that... Um, the, the purple guy and um, Phelan have made their way out. And I'm going to turn to the guy I don't know who is and mm -hmm. say uh, and, and ask them say do you recall if there are horses for sale in the town we just left that you I think you came from uh -uh. and he's just gonna look at you and I want you to give me a perception check on him oh, okay Five. Everything seems normal to you. As he like just stutters a bit, and he's like, "Uh, I, th I think there might have been maybe one or two left. It was a small town though, and it was on the ocean, so I don't think they have much need for horses." There might have been one or two. I, mean, I really didn't check out that part of the area. Not you. I just, I remember there were stables, so I didn't know if they would sell horses or not. I, I honestly don't remember. Okay. Well, thank you. Uh-huh. Um, you, you're normal? That's right. Uh... And he's gonna, like, reach out his hand towards you. Um, and nothing. Take a step back. Okay. And he's, like, immediately gonna, like, pick up the hand. It's like, okay. Yep. I'm nothing. So, nice to meet you. Interesting name. Cool. I mean, I've heard lots of stories about all kinds of people with Interesting names. That that I mean. Not I mean. That's cool. Oh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um. And at this point, like the rest of the group, who wanted to get out of the cart is out of the cart. So. Nothing is gonna like look at. Uh, Phelan. And he's gonna go like, you, you had an idea, I think. Yes, I had an idea. It, it was to go search for the horses because I can speak to animals. I'm gonna see if I can convince them to come back. Wait, wait, hold up. You can speak to animals. This whole time? Yes. Uh, I want to point out that he has in the past, uh, Phelan has in the past talked to animals. At one point, he did talk to Gif. That's right. Okay. Then backtrack. I didn't know if he had before, and so I was going to make a yeah. point of like, why have you not been driving the horses this entire time and you could talk to the horses? <laughs> yeah, but no. He's, he's I did forget that before. he did talk to Gif that one time. He did talk That's to Gif that right. one time. That's right. Sorry, okay. Gif. Sorry, Sorry, guys. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, it has been a while. <laughs> Ig ignore my shocked reaction. I'll say, because you said I can talk to animals. I'll be like, okay, that plan might sound better than mine. I was going to start walking back to the place we just came from. Since I think, according to my maps, it's a shorter distance to there than it is the rest of the trip. But hey, if you can find them elsewhere, that's that's cool, too.
Yep. Okay. Chris, go. All right. So, all right. So, what I, I would obviously need your help, and we obviously and the new guy want and we want your permission because the new guy wants to help come on the come on with us. Do you approve? Approve of what? For the new guy coming with us. We said it was up to you. Like with us with us? Yeah, like no, like with us to help find the horses. Oh or yeah. with you with you in general. At least to the next town. Um Would I know if, if where we're going is the next town or are there towns in between? Would those be on uh, my map? It would be on your map? Okay. I would say that you would have to head back to, let me remember, shit. I would say that you would have to head back to Swift Spire and then go to Branch, Branch Cove, because Swift Spire is is where the Avengers base is, and it, it's like the capital of everything. So I would say you would have to head there first, and then go that way. Oh, so there's not a direct route? There is a direct route. It would take maybe like half a day more to do the direct route. Because it took a... Three days. How long did it take? It took it us three days to get to the first place? Yes. From Swiss Fire to... Crap. The cult. To the cult. To the cult. No, right. Because I, I had it written down that it was only going to take us three days to get from the town we were just in to Branch Cove. Did, I don't remember what I said months ago, Lemon. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I'm just gonna say, yeah. if it's gonna take us more than three days, then... No, wait. Branch Cove was the one that you were just in. I'm See, I'm tired. The one that you're heading to next is Ethermore, right? Yes. Yeah. Ah. Yes. It's still so only yeah. gonna take us three days to get to one to the other. Yes. So three days. I'm tired. I'm sorry. That's okay. So then, does... Because... I don't know if I wrote down all the names of the towns. There... Somewhere else. I think I can. Oh wait, you have. I can write in the chat. Do we have later. a? Hold on. Okay. You do anyway. not have a main map yet. I still need to make that. Gotcha. Either way, what I'm trying to figure out is where we're going. Is that the next town? Would that be where they're that he's going or they are going? They, j he honestly they just haven't... needs to go somewhere. Okay, yeah, you just I don't, don't know where he needs where. to go. I'm just curious, map-wise, if that would be the only solution. In the area, unless you want to go to Swift Fire and then go to Ethermore, instead of going uh, straight to Ethermore from Questborn, uh, that's the only town or, s or the only thing in between is just you go straight there unless you want to go the longer route which cuts back through just fire and then you go that way which would add a few more days of travel i, I found my notes so it's it's three days the our first trip was three days yes so so we either go three days back to where we were and then go on. So I'm just gonna yeah. straight up. I've got my little route map, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to the tiefling nothing and say, "Where on? Where are you going? Like, where are you? Where? 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 What? What town are you headed to?" Um. And he's just gonna like look very nervous and like kind of upset. 
this is a funny story, but I don't know where I'm going. Okay, then pick uh, a place on this map that you are going. Okay. Um, and he's just gonna, like, look around really fast, and he's going to click. Click. He's going to point towards... Ethermar. I guess there. I don't I don't know where they would have gone. I'm I'm sorry. Ethermore. Okay. Um do you have your own supplies? Yes. Okay. Well then, if they say it's all up to me, sorry, I'm reading my notes while I'm trying to talk. Oh, you're good. Do you happen to know about any wizards? Wizards? Um... I'm gonna make a, a history check for this dude. Can't read really? my writing right now, right at the moment. Now, let me figure out something. I also might need to refresh on what we know about the wizard. That's... A, okay. He's gonna go like, um... There are lots of different wizards. You gotta be a, a little more specific. I mean, specifically the wizard in Ethermore. Or are there a lot of them in Ethermore? I mean, there's, there's like wizards all over the place here. Um... There is one that I've heard about that, um, what was it? Uh, a wizard that wanted revenge on his teacher. Oh, that's what I wrote down. Okay. Sorry, Sorry that was out of character. No, you're good. And he's like, uh, yeah, there was like, a wizard who wanted revenge on his teacher. Or who wanted revenge on someone for killing their teacher. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I've heard about that wizard, but those are like small murmurings. Okay, Is and that with that the one you're talking about? Um, I'm not entirely sure. Which, that is in character. Like, I know my character would know, but I'm telling him that I'm not entirely sure. But, okay. oh, quick refresher. What exactly do we know about the wizard? So, from the notes that one of the parents left behind, it was a, a wizard. So, basically, there was, like, a wizard who was teaching, like, a group of kids and trying to corrupt them. That wizard was beaten and killed by the Revengers. Uh, they saved the students. But one of the students got corrupted enough to believe, like, Oh, no, you just killed the guy who taught me everything. And now I want revenge for you doing that. Okay. Even though he basic they basically saved him. Or yeah. Okay. Sorry, I was trying to decipher my notes, and I knew I had a C in there somewhere. And it. Okay, so it's a. They were corrupted by the teacher that we killed. By the what the parents killed. Yes. Okay. I'm glad I figured that out. Okay. So and so I've said to him, that might be the person, but honestly, I have no idea if that's who we're actually looking for or not. Okay. Uh, 
all honesty, I'm, honestly, I'm just I'm just looking for my my siblings. So okay. Any, I, I just need to look for places that they said they were going to. So at the mention of siblings, my demeanor is going to change. And I'm going to be a lot more understanding. Mm -hmm. Still not going to be like open, like in giving all the information, but just a little bit more like relaxed looking. Okay. Um, and I'm going to say to him, for them, Sure. You can, um, why don't you help us find these horses, and we'll see what we can do to help you out. Uh, he's just gonna, like, kind of, like, recoil at, like, being called sir. Like, uh, did I call him I'm... sir? Or something. Oh, wait, did you? I'm confused now. Did you call him sir? I think I said sure. Oh, okay. I think it's funnier he if he misunderstood the but sure. He mis he me, <laughs> yeah, he totally fine. Yeah, he misunderstood. Yeah, he misunderstood you totally because that's what I. Did. He just misunderstood you, and he's gonna go. Uh, don't, sir. I'm 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 twelve. Not that old. And now I'm gonna look confused. Well, aren't we all like around the same exact age? Uh, so yeah. We're... <laughs> No, I'm gonna look confused because he thinks I called him sir, and I don't didn't call him sir. Uh huh. He's just gonna look at you confused. And he's like, "Why did you call me sir?" <laughs> but I'm not gonna correct him. I'm then gonna take to Phelan and go, "Okay, Phelan, do your thing. Let's find these stinking horses." Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so who is actually going to go search for the horses? I am searching. Yeah, I'm searching. But I'm searching with survival. Okay. Uh, Zato and Jahan, are you guys searching for the horses? Nope. Jahan's going back to lay down mode. I'm okay. just watching the cart. I have nothing okay. to do. Like the ho I think they got the horses. I believe in them. Okay. All depends on so... how long they take. So... It takes us more Let's... than three hours for walking back to the town. <laughs> Let's do this. Um, you can either choose for uh, Lemon and Chris. You guys can either choose to roll survival or I would say survival. Mm. Okay, Lemon, you roll survival. Chris, I would actually give you the chance to maybe roll a nature check. Right, nature. If you want to roll, it's either nature or survival for you, because you would know more about Horace than normal would. I think I'll just do nature. And... I rolled an 11. Okay. Mm. Bear with me, I'm bad at math. Thirteen. Okay. So... You guys... Do you guys... Do, also, do you two go in separate directions? Let's ask that. Yes. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, it, it could work if we went in separate directions. Okay. So... Phelan, which way are you going? Phelan would probably... Phelan would probably go on, on the... Hold on. Which do... Probably on the right, probably on like the right side, because he just, to, just, just cause. Okay. And then Nomo, what way are you gonna go? Nomo is going because we saw that the horses ran because we were on the road and the horses ran away from the cart into mm -hmm. the forest. 
Yes. So no one was going to look on that side, but towards the direction back towards civilization in case they subconsciously ran that back that direction. Okay. And nothing not knowing what's going on. He's got to go in the opposite direction of normal. I mean, like, maybe they ran towards the other town. Because he did not get a very good check. He did not roll very well about what is going on. So, oh, no. can I get your rolls one more time? I rolled an 11. An 11 13. and 13. So, you guys look around normal. You can see, like, it's been worn out a little bit because it's been overnight. But you can see tracks, like, some tracks leading towards the direction that you're going. Phelan, you also see tracks in the direction that you are going. But they are more pronounced. They are more like they look like they haven't been messed up that much. Oh, okay. So you both find tracks because you had two horses. Yep. And it seems like the two horses separated at some point. Yep. Did you all, you both just see one set of track marks, of hoof marks. I'll follow the track. I also follow my the tracks I see. What? Now, I'm going to do a luck check for the both of you on my side. So give me a second. So, you guys start walking, and walking, and walking, and walking, and 15 minutes pass, 30 minutes pass, 45 minutes pass, and Around like 50 minutes of you guys walking, Phelan, yeah. you come across like a little, a little like creek where there's just like a little river running through, and you see like a swishing of a tail ahead of you near the near the river Balin just Balin just looks and he is hoping that's what he thinks he said to get his hopes up what are you going to do Okay, how far is he away from... I would say it... you're about, like, 30 feet away. Okay. He's gonna try to get to see if he can get a little closer to me, just so he can be sure. Okay, so how are you going to get closer? He's, um, I would say he, like... Because he knows how like animals can get spooked, he would like st he would like slowly walk up. He would like slowly walk up to where they can't hear. I want you to make a stealth check for me. All right. Eighteen. Eighteen. You sneak on over there. And the horse has not noticed you yet.
Okay, good. Okay, good. And what Phelan do, what Phelan does is when he gets and he starts in closer, he's gonna he's gonna go up up to it, see if he could try to calm it down and okay. see if he could come back with us. So what are you going to do exactly to try to get him to get the horse to follow you? I'm going to speak to it. Okay, so you're using the spell? Yep. Okay. So you make sure to mark off that you used it. Okay. And what are you going to say? What, um... I'm go what I'm going to say is I I know that you that you were scared and I know it's been and I know that it's it was unexpected but I want I need you to come back with us because we need your help and we can't com complete this journey without you and the horse is gonna like turn its head towards you and just like, uh, 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 oh, I remember you. Yes, yes, it's you're, me. You're one of those people from the, from the cart I was, you're one of the little ones. Yes, I am one of the little ones. I am Phelan. Um, Phelan. Okay. Um, are the flying things gone? Yes, the flying things are gone. We slayed them. Okay. Yeah. Mm, okay. Uh, I want you to make an animal handling check with advantage. Okay, with it. All right. <laughs> That's 12. Like you said, with, with advantage. advantage means you roll twice, right? Yes, and take the higher number. Okay. Yeah, right. Um, that time, this time it was a 10. So it's a 12? Yep. Did you add your plus to that? Oh, wait, no. <laughs> okay. 16, yeah, 16. Okay. So the horse looks at you, and he goes, okay, I'll come back. As long yeah. as the flying thing is gone. Don't worry, the flying thing is gone. We made sure of that. Okay. And the horse is gonna, like, walk, like, trot up to you a bit. Uh... You, you know the way back? Yes, I know. Yes, I know the way back. Yep. And I he's gonna, like, smoke. lean down a bit. Like, as much as he can. Get, like, on the ground. Like, sitting on the ground. He's gonna go, okay. Climb on. Yay. And then Phelan just, climb, Phelan just climbs on. He gives him a little, like, he brushes his mane and then he then he makes his way back to the car of the cart. Yep. As long as you're showing uh uh the horse the way back, the horse was is gonna go back. And then instead of forty five minute the fifty minutes it took for you, it's gonna take like twenty now, because you're actually on a horseback. It's a much faster walking speed. Now back to normal. No, well, you're yes. at like 50, you're at 50 minutes. There's still no one around. There's still, you, like, the tracks are starting to kind of like a little miss now. And you keep going. Now an hour has passed. You're still walking around in the woods. Are you getting a bit tired? Um, if it's been an hour, 
Probably not. Okay. Do you want to still keep going forward? Uh, do I notice like any, so I don't, do I, I don't, I notice that the tracks are not as prominent now, correct? Yes. Like you see I'm tracks, they're just not as prominent as you would probably like them to be <laughs> as you're trying to like find these creatures, like, find the horses? I would say at this point I'm probably going to turn around. Okay. So, you turn around. It takes you the hour to get back. Now, in the meantime of them being gone for, like, an hour, Jahan and Zato, what are you two doing? Because you two are alone. In this moment. I'm just laying there. Doing nothing. Zato's just kind of like trying to stay awake. Like he wants to at least like wait for them to at least like. Or at least one of them to come back. He's like mm -hmm. trying. He's like trying his best to stay awake. He's like. Just going in and out. So. So. When, as you're trying to like stay awake, you have the feeling and the feeling, the feeling, the feeling of someone watching you. Um, uh -huh. The feeling of someone being on you. Hi, Orlath. And a voice is going, what? Who? Me? And he's going to appear, like, face down. Like, <laughs> like he's upside down, just in front of you. His hair is, his, like, longish hair is just, like, hanging down. He's gonna go... How did you know I was here? Someone was watching me. Kind of had a feeling. Oh, you're no fun anymore, Prophet. I need to find the voice I gave him. You're no <laughs> fun anymore, Prophet. <laughs> <laughs> you literally just had, like, the butter. Yeah. I forgot. It was... Oh, fuck. It was deep. It was annoying. It was... <sighs> bitchy. Prophet. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Well, well, Phelan met, um, and nothing is out looking for our horses, and so is normal. I'm sorry, nothing? Uh, someone we met on the way here. Uh huh. The yes, is. <laughs> yes, yes. The, their name is nothing. The fuck? The fuck <laughs> kind of name is nothing? I mean, our names aren't relatively, you know, Daniels, Samanthas, you know. Yes, names. but you know, like, but uh, but like, I was like, this is like a weird story for me to tell you, but like, I was like, somewhat there with your mother when she like picked out your name. So I get it. You, nothing. It, it's I don't get it either, man. What are you doing here? I just bored. 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 Don't don't try it. <laughs> don't don't. Zeta just laughs. laughs like a little playful way. See, <laughs> see, are you that paranoid now? I'm here. I'm okay. I haven't been I paranoid don't. for a while, actually. Because I'm a nice patron? What am I to you? No, because I have nothing to be paranoid about. Oh, Lovely. <laughs> so, um... Mm. Mm-hmm. 
okay. N- nothing? I'm still stuck on Dude, that. Nothing? listen. We didn't choose his name, and I believe he actually did choose his name. If you're so interested in meeting him, you can wait until he comes back to ask questions. Actually, he'd I... flee. Never mind. I mean, like... What's his deal? He's... We, we kind of... We kind of... Ran into a little speed bumps on the way here. Uh, fought a like you know d- d- dragon or such. You know the norm, the norm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We were victorious. He he like whispers in uh <laughs> his ear as like John went down a couple times. He didn't really, but like he just wanted him to say that. He just wanted to say that. Uh uh huh. Like he seems like really interested now. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, oh, he's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The stupid brother went out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We see. <laughs> and now we're just waiting to get our horses back so we can go to the next place. Which I where wish I knew. You, where did you? Where did the horses go? The horses got scared off when we were fighting dragons. Ah. <sighs> that would be a bit of a problem. Very okay. much of a problem. Mm-hmm. You said like I can't be in... fine. I have fun. <laughs> fine. Um, I mean, do you want help? Oh no, like you're fine. I mean, you're just kind of thinking. Hey, remember nothing? <laughs> Uh huh. He 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 exists. Uh huh. What you want help with that? No, I don't. I just want you to know that nothing exists. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. I swear, this. I feel like there's a reason that you just popped out of nowhere. What? I was bored. Mm. Yeah, I haven't talked to you in a bit. It's mm. been like a day. A day? Yeah, a day. Yeah, a day. But do you want do you want something? Uh Can you make me fly? Okay. That's he's just, a bit he's, much. Zeno's just bored now, honestly. He doesn't know what to say. I know. Fly? Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> no. Boo. I, I don't know if that's a thing that I can teach you. But you're like magical. Abracadabra. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if you know how warlock things work. I can give you things like what was it all your spells that you pick and choose like I have to go over them in my head to be like oh yes this is actually something he can learn before like you learn it so why not fly did I okay, did I okay that okay but uh, flying <laughs> flying is a different thing flying is that <sighs> you're not there yet No. I don't know if you'll I don't know if I have the power to give me a moment and he's gonna actually like he's going to like pull like a book out of nowhere <laughs> he's still flipped upside down and he's gonna be like okay um give me a second mm-hmm mm-hmm uh yes uh-huh mm-hmm 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 Mm-hmm. He's just gonna go mm-hmm for a couple of minutes as he's like flipping through the book. I'm guessing all the mm-hmmm means I can't fly. No, he's just saying mm-hmm as he's <laughs> trying to like look for it and he's gonna go, uh, oh crap, I have to go back a page. Um. Uh, oh my god. Wait. Okay, FL. <laughs> this kind of like FL. Right now. Fly, 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 found it. You touch opening. Okay. 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 Uh, and he's gonna be like, uh, 
and I've given you this so far. He's just gonna talk to himself for a little bit. Is this a okay? Zato kind of like just side eyes uh Jahan for a couple seconds. Jahan doesn't even know he's there. Yeah, I know. Because Jahan, just, Jahan, like you're side eyeing talking. Jahan while he's just kind of like lying there with his eyes closed. Uh-huh. And when you're uh-huh. saying fly, he's like, one day maybe I will. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. And he's going to like <laughs> slap the book shut, and then that magically yeah. Jahan can hear is just a book slamming shut. <laughs> yeah. You can't see anything, but you just hear it. He goes, okay, you want to fly? I would love to fly. On my own. You want to fly? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Fine. The next time you do something miraculous, I will give you the ability to fly. Miraculous. The next time you do something that, like, I don't know, make me happy, I guess. And I will make I you fly. I told you that Jahan went down. I thought that would make you happy enough. Okay, no, 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 no. There's a difference between amused and happy. <laughs> I'm amused that, that your your idiot brother went down. I'm not happy about it. You know you are. I kind of am, but I can't give it to you right now. <sighs> um, How about this? How about this? How about this? How about when your little group is together, I throw something at you, and you keep it hush hush about what I throw at you. You don't tell them it was me. You don't tell them it was me. I throw something at you. Oh, but what are you going to throw? Okay, I don't know quite yet. It'll be a surprise. But if I throw something at you and you defeat them, and then you're like, "Oh no, this is like a totally random thing," and I'm like. You defeat it, and then you suddenly, all of you become more powerful. I will give you the ability to fly. Does that sound okay? Deal. Okay. 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 And he's just he's gonna say okay a couple times, as he's like, now he pulls out a different book. Honestly, out of point, nowhere. Zeta, does, Zeta does not know what he's getting into. Zeta's just like, kind of, he's just at this point now, where he's just like, I, I just want to end this all so whatever happens I, it, let it just happen no he's he's just gonna pull out like a different book and he's gonna like look through it he's like okay 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 he's <laughs> gonna take a few more minutes um as this is going on uh let's go back to normal <laughs> she is walking back oh <laughs> we're just gonna go back to the two people away from this for right now. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, what are you doing on your little walk back? Um, I don't know. Anything Anything interesting? No. Sad. <laughs> Nothing. I mean, I don't, I don't think no one would be doing anything on their walk back. They'd just be walking back. Yeah. Okay, then to Chris and Phelan. Is Phelan doing anything interesting while riding the horse? What Phelan is doing while riding... Um, hopefully he... Hopefully he'll come back. So, he is thinking... He is thinking what will happen, like, after, after, like, you know, they accomplish what, what they want. Like, are they ever going to see each other again, or are they not going to see each other again? Yes, he's thinking deep. But wow. he's also, yeah, he is also, he's also thinking, he's also thinking nothing. Why is this person's name nothing? Like, literally nothing. Okay, as you're thinking that, I want you to give me... Uh, 
I don't know. No. You know, you don't have to give me anything. You're just thinking about, like, does any, what, like, give me your honest thoughts about nothing at this exact moment. What are you thinking when you think of nothing? He, what he's thinking is that obviously, it, he's obviously it looks like he seems like he seems harmless, but at the same time, we know, we know not barely, we know little to nothing about nothing. About nothing. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you are the f Phelan is the first one to make it back to the cart. And with the horse, you you're fine. You what do you do once you get back? Um. He um. He goes up. What he does is he goes up to Johan and Zato. He's like, I have returned. Am I still talking to Orleth? <laughs> yes. He's still like like running through a book and he's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't talk to me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> so, Phelan can see him, right? Or is it just me? Only, only Zato can see him. So I'm basically just looking at someone and I look like I'm like talking to them so they don't think I'm crazy or whatever. Mm -hmm. You're literally daredeviling it. Looking through, <laughs> look like you're looking through somebody. At this point, yes. And Phelan just looks at Zato weirdly and he's just like, okay, it's I don't know what's going on, but I'm not going to ask until later, but it looks important. Uh, for a moment, like, <laughs> he's just going to, like, or that, again, only you can see Ozano, he's just going to, like, like, rise up so he's, like, floating, like, sitting, like, crisscross, and he's going to look to Phelan. He's going to go, Make him stop talking. Make him stop talking. Make him stop. Talk to him about something. Just make him stop. Hey, so, uh, uh, found a horse? Yes, I found a horse. Congrats. Zato's kind of like making in him his. Stop. Zeta's kind of like thinking in his mind because he knows what like Orlath is like about to do, and he's like he's getting that feeling like like of guilt that he knows like whatever has happened is probably is mostly on him, but mm -hmm. but he's trying to like just put that to the side. Okay, we can do that. You can see him now just furiously like going through a book and just going like no. 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 And he's just like trying to find something that he think will he thinks will be good. So <laughs> so it's twenty minutes it's like an hour and twenty when uh Phelan shows up. And then mm -hmm. another twenty minutes pass and nothing comes back. And he's gonna like be out of breath. He's like hanging on the cart. He's like, "Don't make fun of me. I found nothing. Not me. Just nothing. I'm sorry." <laughs> he's just gonna like cough and like wheeze, and he's gonna like crawl onto the cart. He's just gonna lay there. <laughs> so nothing found nothing. I just said, don't make fun of me. Who said I was making fun of you? <laughs> and he's just gonna, like, face plant, like, yeah, face plant, like, onto, like, the wood of the cart. He's just, ha ha like, his face is just completely down. He's hey. just, like, groans. Hey, or, or, or what? That, that, that's nothing. Uh, obviously. <laughs> what is this? Pathetic excuse. No, no, like, he's like like glancing that, over, 
And he, like, literally, you have to, like, realize, like, nothing is literally, like, he, like, like, literally, like, he, like, he is, seems like he's, like, so out of breath right now. He seems pathetic at this exact moment. I see, like, face, like, he's literally just laying, like, plank style on, like, the ground of the cart. Just, like, he, like breathing heavily. And... Or that, like, he, he's, li like, laying somewhat close to you, Zato. So when, like, you tell Orlath, like, where he is, he's literally just gonna float away from him more. It's like, this? Not okay with this. This is on, like, the same level of your brother being, like, gross. This is just sad. Oh, you can't say that, you can't say that out loud. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No one can hear me. <laughs> but only oh. you. Oh. Unless Whoops. you want it to be heard. No, 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 so nothing like looks up at you. It just goes. That's hurtful. That wasn't, dude. Y'all don't know my voice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have an accent. In Jahan, <laughs> Jahan and Phelan, you can you can tell that the voice came from Zato's direction, but it's not Zato talking. But you recognize a bit of the accent. Like, you know who's talking. <laughs> Jahan puts his, like, hand near his back and just, like, taps his staff. And then just goes right back to laying down. Oh, boo. No, and then he's gonna, like, look at, like, Jahan and go, Oh, boo-hoo, big freaking lightning stick. Now, see, you can say that out loud. I don't care about that more. <laughs> You're pathetic. <laughs> pathetic. And he's basically just like spewing out. He's like, I have no time for this. And he's gonna go back to like talking to you, like saying, I was like, I have no time for this. I'm trying to find something for you. And I, I oh, now this is interesting. And he's just gonna go back to reading the book. Meanwhile, nothing is like looking at you, still kind of hurt. When did you gain an accent? I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna look at nothing. But I'm like that wasn't me. But don't worry, it was no one else here. No, no one else is here. Okay. You, you, you just. What? I don't I understand don't, what's going on. I don't. I'm just I don't lay have an I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. And he's just gonna lay back down and just like whine, like into the wood. What? Again, what it's sad to look at. <laughs> Zato's gonna like look at Orla and be like, look, look, look what you've done. He's gonna go, shh, you want me to make this harder for you? No. Let me do this then. He's gonna keep strolling. And then... 15 minutes pass. And Nomal, you finally get back to the cart. I was actually about to ask, like, where is Nomal? So yeah, um, Nomal, you have made it back to the cart at this point. Well, I'm glad we at least found one horse. Yep, there is one horse. Phelan, did you hook it up to the cart? Not, not yet, but I should do that. He was too distracted by Zato <laughs> Talk, talking to him. <laughs> I think what is an embodiment, but yeah, he's gonna get right on to that. Okay. So, you do the horse. Everyone is now back at the cart. What is the plan for now? What are you guys going to do? Go on, get out of here. I'm gonna ask Phelan. So, hey, Phelan, can you find out if the horse you found knows where the other one went? Because I don't want to be, like, 
I don't know if we can manage with just one horse. I guess I can try to find the other horse. So are you gonna ask the horse where the other where it thinks the other horse went? Yeah, I'm going to attempt it. Okay, it's been more than ten minutes, so you're gonna have to recast the spell. Okay, recast the spell. Okay, make sure you mark that down. And the horse is like in like its thing and it's feeling cozy now. It's gonna look at you. Go oh, yes. Okay, so our friend here, no, our friend here didn't find the other horse that was w along with our journey. Do you happen to know where he went? No. We, uh, when the big flying thing attacked us, uh, we split up at some point. So I have no idea where they are. Did you did you lose my did you lose my friends? Oh, that's sad. Oh well. Don't or don't we can try to find him. You can try. I don't think it's better go well. I mean, you found me. But like, eh. I can. I can handle you till the next town. Oh, okay. And since Normal thinks we won't get all the way with a with our second horse, we can get it. We can try to get a new friend exactly. when we get to the new town. Exactly. I can last you. I think. I've never pulled a carriage by myself before, but I can try. It, it might be like a little bit slower pace. What was it? Like it's eight. Mm, I don't know how to count. Multiple hoofs are better than no hoofs at all. So I, it, I have that amount. And he like kind of like looks down at the legs, and he's like, "I can, I can make us move. It's gonna be slow, but." If it if anything, it's still good. We'll we'll make it to an we'll make it to a town. We'll buy a new friend, and I will drive us. Okay. Well then, I'm ready to go when you all are. All you have to do is say hi -ya. Insulting, but it works. Which what? Well, we're gonna have to make it to a town with just with just our friend here that we found. But we can go off and get a new horse. We'll just go to, we'll just go to the next town and we'll get a new horse. Cause, from what what I've been told, getting we it's not it. We're not gonna find that other horse that escaped. I mean, one is better than another, so one is better than none. So we might as well just we we might as well just make our way to the next town, get a new horse from there. Sounds good to me. Let's load up. Let's load up. I'll drive. Okay. At this point, when everyone is actually gathering together, Zato. Mm -hmm. or Orlaf starts looking like nodding his head at the book but yes still looking through that yes, yes. <laughs> and he's like yes okay and he looks up and he realizes that the cart is starting to move a mm -hmm. bit and he's gonna go is everyone here yep even nothing oh <laughs> are you ready to have some fun uh don't make me regret this I, i'm oh, literally doing this and he is going to basically he's going to like put out his hands and he's going to chant something and you can't understand him but at th that moment like black the black smoke that you've all ingested before and that made you knock out and go into the dream and the dream thing it's going to start pouring out of his mouth pouring out of his nose pouring out of his eyes pouring out of his hands and 
the two people in the cart? Because I'm thinking, Noble, are you up front with yes. Phelan? Yes. Okay. So, I need Jahan, Phelan, it. Oh, I thought I was going to see this. And Noble to make perception checks for me. Oh, Lord. What have I done? As the smoke starts leaking out and it starts actually going to a place where everyone can see it. Is that perception? Perception, yeah. Thirty twenty. Thirty twenty. Okay. Eighteen. Eighteen. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Johan, you see this happening. Once again, it's starting to... But this time, it seems like it's going a bit... Like, you remember this happening the first time. But this time, you can see it move at a faster pace. Oh, God. And as you say that, it creeps up your nose, and you pass out. It was like... Uh, like, he's like saying, and like, what have I done? Oh, you've done so much for me. And he continues chanting, and at that point, it goes into your system, and you also pass out. Poor, poor little nothing on the floor. He doesn't realize what's happening. He lets out a scream, and then passes out. Um, Normal and Phelan, you hear nothing scream. There are nothing screaming? Well, like nothing at all? Like you hear nothing <laughs> <laughs> You hear nothing scream. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say stop the horses. Or stop the horse. There's only one of them now. Okay, then then Phelan stops the horse. And as you both as you stop the horses, you can see the familiar blackish purple smoke coming towards you once more. What did he do this time? And as you say that, it goes into both of your systems and you both pass out. And then, I, all of a sudden, all four of you wake up. And you're in a dark space. And you just see Orlaf sitting on like a chair, like holding what looks to be like like a go like a gold goblet and just like somewhat drinking out of it just staring at all of you well 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 we meet again what are you doing oh you wanted to fly that's not what I meant by all this. Oh, no, 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 no. You wanted to fly. It, I wasn't being serious. I, I didn't think you'd take you me seriously. I take you very seriously. Are all of you ready? Dana, what did you do? I was bored. I didn't know what I was doing. I'm gonna ask this one more time. Are all of you ready? Can I attempt to like, choice. like attack him? Or like, how you far is he? He is about I know it's not... forty feet away from you. Can I? T I want to do. Oh, he's far. <laughs> not that far. Mm. No, nah, never mind. Okay. So he's gonna he's gonna like look at you all expectantly. He's like Okay, none of you are responding. And I can only see one of you getting ready. And he's gonna point to like the farthest left of all of you. And you if you guys look over to your left, you can just see nothing like fucking shaking. <laughs> and he's just like He's like holding his staff in front of him, like 
just like prepping himself and he's looks like looks at you guys he goes where are we where are we who is that and all Jahan's doing is literally taking his one index finger and just doing it in a circle, you know? Like, let's get this over with. Move it along. That's literally just moving does his it, finger. Just, let's go. That doesn't, that doesn't answer my question. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm giving you a power-up. This is not what I meant. Oh, but it is. Because he is the plan, and he snaps his fingers, and then all of a sudden, the th all five of you hear growling. And from like that ink, it seems like a, there's like an inky. All of you are like a in like a blink, uh, an inky black abyss. But from behind what looks to be like a wall, like behind Orlaf, three hellhounds just come out. Like you can see the fire in their mouths and like coming out of them as they growl and snarl at you and he's just gonna go it's time for you to fight for your lives i guess for my pleasure let's have some fun shall we and i need all of you to roll initiative oh lord what have i done what have i done zeta's like repeatedly say that in his head Roll initiative, you said? Roll initiative. Five. Seven. <laughs> five? Seven. Yep. Okay, five for normal, seven for Zato. I need Jahan's and I need Phelan's. Ten. Thirty twenty. Stop and rolling good. <laughs> I always roll good with Jahan. I just can't roll when and, I when I'm the one telling the story. And you see as it is a good hound to its master. One of the one of the one of the hellhounds is just gonna growl. And they're going to run towards you all. You are all about 50 feet away from Orlaf. And this first hellhound is strangely enough gonna run towards Jahan first. Because you <laughs> wow. provoked Orlaf once more. He's not happy about it. And he runs, and the hellhound runs its full 50 feet. And it's going to make a bite attack at you. Mm hmm So. Does a... I roll... No, that's the, this is the dice I need. Does a... Does a dirty 20 hit? Yes. You are going to take... You're gonna take seven points of damage as it fights, as it pierces through you, and I do, 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 do. give me one second. So that is going to be ten, but it's gonna be five for you because you have resistance against fire damage, correct? Yes, I do. You're gonna ha take five points of fire damage. As it bites into your shoulder. And it releases and it just growls at you more. And next up is going to be Jahan. Okay. Jahan is going to pull out his new toy. Mm -hmm. Now this to now this has one, two, three, four, five different abilities that can be used, but only one one at a time, and each one takes away each day. Mm 
So I only can use it f up to five times. Let's see. Uh, obviously I have to... I'm going to melee it with... I'm going to swing my staff of thunder and lightning at the one that just bit me. Okay, yeah, that is a 21. 21 is going to hit. Roll for damage. Okay, and I am using uh, lightning. Okay. The lightning ability, when I hit it using the staff, I can cause the target to take an extra 2d6 lightning damage. So it is, I'll roll the original attack first, the actual melee. Mm -hmm. It's 1d6 plus 2, so the bludgeon is 4 damage. Okay. And the lightning is 9 lightning damage. Okay. Okay, it's looking hurt. Um, and I want to see something. I don't think I can use heightened spell with this, so no. Because it's no, not. If you're trying to use yeah, heightened spell with the thing. I have magic, to. So. I have to use it with one of my magic abilities. Yeah. Yeah. But there we go. 13 points of damage from one shot with a swing of a staff. And is that all you're going to do this round? Uh... Hmm. Then... How close is uh, nothing to me? Nothing is... I would say that out of, like, you guys are all in a row mm -hmm. at this point. So, Zato is obviously in the middle. Nothing is at the far left. Um, I would say that you are in between Zato and nothing, and then it's gonna be Noble and Bayla. Is nothing wearing um, armor? Is nothing wearing armor? Nothing is wearing leather armor. Okay. Then I heard him. No, uh, because my one spell only works with a creature that's not wearing armor. Yeah. No, they are wearing mm -hmm. leather at the moment. Yeah. That was for the future, but yeah. But no, I can't do anything else. Okay. So next up is going to be another hellhound. And it's going to growl. And it's going to run at all of you, but instead of running to someone specifically and biting them, they are going to go back like 10, they're going to run 40 feet towards you guys. No, they're going to run 30 feet towards you guys. And then they're going to let out uh, a thing of fire buff towards all of you. So it's in a 15 foot cone. Right? How many of you would that hit? 30? No. It would probably have to be within 15 feet of you, wouldn't it? I mean, if you're, if you're 30 feet away, it wouldn't hit any of us. Yeah, no. I was wrong. So it's gonna go 15 feet away from you all. And it's going to exhale. And it's going to hit the other hellhound in it. But I need you all to make a dexterity saving throw for me. The DC is uh, 12. And you would say that I can see this happening, right? You can see this happening. Yay, I get advantage. Um, uh, I, know I, again. Uh, I know I passed. Um, my die had more than 12 on it. The dexterity, right? Wait. 
say that. Okay, 19 lemon. Yes. 19 is a is a success. Who was at who who told me there's sorry. Uh 14. 14 is a success. Is a you success. Said, you said dexterity saving throw, right? Dexterity yes. saving throw. DC is 12. For everyone. I'm I'm just not gonna read my number out. Okay, I'm gonna read your number out. You got a three. Ouch. And Fela got an eighteen. Mm-hmm. Okay, you save. So give me one second. I need to get my dice for this. I'm missing one. What color am I missing? Give me a second. I need to. I need to mask this. And one more. Okay. So it is nineteen points of fire damage. But Johan, you passed. Mm-hmm. And you are resistant to fire damage. Yep. So you take nothing. Yeah. So, 19. We'll do. For the people who succeeded, it is 9 points of fire damage. Zato, because you are immune to. Uh, you are. You have um, immunity. Oh, so aren't I immune? Yeah. Yes, you only take nine points of damage. Okay. Ouch. Um, nothing takes nine points of damage, and the hell other hellhound takes nothing because they succeeded on their save. What are they gonna do with nothing? <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have named the character nothing. Son of a bitch. How many hellhounds are there that we can see? There's three of them. But yeah. And then that hellhound is done for this turn. And the next person up is going to be nothing. And... Nothing is going to look at Jahan. And they're gonna move close enough so they that they can touch you. Uh -huh. And he's gonna go, I don't really want to touch you, but this is the only way I can do this, I'm sorry. And he touches you, and he's going to cast Cure Wounds. Uh, and you regain uh so you gain back i need to do math you gain back 12 hit points good and he's gonna take his hand off of you and go, sorry. Basically, he just gave me back what I just hit, took. <laughs> yeah, and he's just gonna go, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, and then he's going to step behind you, so you are covering him. Mm hmm And then, next up is going to be Phelan. And Chris, please put down that you lost nine points of you took nine points of damage because i can see if you guys are actually inputting this up okay yeah got it <sighs> but it is right. your turn right, what are you gonna do 
Okay, how far is the hellhound away from me? It is 50 feet. I mean, no. There is one about um, 15 feet away from you in front of Jahan. There is one 15 feet away from you in front of the group. And then there is one 50 feet back near or, or less. Okay, it's just one. You said one fifteen feet in front of the group, right? Yes. So there's oh. the one that just shot the fire at you, which is fifteen feet away from the uh, fifteen feet away in front of the group, and then to your left, there is one fifteen feet away in front of Jahan. Okay, I'm going to uh, attack the one that's in front of the group. Okay, are you gonna run up towards it? No, I'm gonna use my I'm gonna use my crossbow. Okay, roll to hit. <laughs> oh yeah, a fifteen. Fifteen meets it, beats it. Roll your damage. Eight. Points of damage. Okay. Okay. And is that all that you're going to do this turn? Uh, yes. Okay. And then next up is going to be third hellhound, who is going to run up and attack. Phelan, because it just attacked the other, because you just attacked the other hellhound, so it's going to run 50 feet up to you, and it is going to go for the bite. So that is going to be, does a, does a 9 hit? No, it does not. Okay. So it bites and it misses, and that is all it can do. Next up is going to be Zeta. Okay, so how far is the uh, Hellhound near to me where Jahan is? Like the it one closest is, to Jahan. It is five feet away from me. Five feet away? Can I just like. Five feet away on your side. Okay, so it's close. Yes, very it's close. It's a Hellhound, so using fire on it would be not that smart. Um. Let's use, uh, the staff. Okay. Roll the hit. Uh, 11. 11 does not hit. Gosh darn it. Is that all you're going to do? Can I just look at Orlaf really quick? Mm-hmm. I just want to be, like, he's, Zeta's just, like, looking at him. He's like, this isn't what I meant. He said that again. He's sitting back, and he's drinking out of the goblet that he has, and he's just gonna go, Oh no, this is exactly what you meant. Fight. And then he just takes a long ass sip, and he like, continues staring at you as he does so. It's, it's giving Hades from Hercules. Uh, it, it's, it's just what this guy's giving. It's giving total douche vibes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't think I can't. I don't think I can do anything else. Let me see. Um. I mean, if you wanted to take out a dagger, you can two hand it. Oh. But that's only if you're using your quarter staff with one hand. Yeah, I am. Okay, so you can use a dagger if you want to try to attack him. Sure. Because you have two hands fighting. Wait, no, 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 you don't. That's, that's you lied to me. Damn it! <laughs> I got, I got the both of you confused. No, you have two. You have, yeah, you have two hand fighting. Oh. So can I roll so the hit? You took 
Wait, so you took out your javelin to attack, or you're attacking with your dagger? Staff. Oh, no, you have a staff, too. Okay. I get no, confused I, between yeah. the brothers. That is my fault. Yep. So can I roll to hit with the dagger? Mm hmm Okay. There's no roll to hit. 14. 14 just misses. I'm going to cry. Yeah. Nothing. Next up is going to be Noble. Okay. Um, so... I've got one hellhound right in front of Phelan, which is right next to me, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, there's another one that is 15 feet away. Yeah. And in one front. that is... There's, there's and, well, one. The, one that, the one that's 15 feet away, I figured, like, was, like, in the middle. They're right in front of Zato, but 15 feet away. Gotcha. And then the other one, uh, comparative to you, it's to your left. In front, front of Jahan, it's ten, it's 10 feet away. So first things first, as I am not too happy to be here and want to just get on the road, is I'm going to rage as my bonus action. Okay. Um, which gives me all that stuff. I'm going to pull out both hand axes, so I have one in each hand. Okay. And not this round, because my bonus action was to rage, um... But what I am going to do is I'm going to be risky. And I believe reckless, thing, reckless attack is just is part of my attack action. Um, which, gives me ad, which gives me advantage on my melee weapon attack rolls on my first attack of my yes. turn. But it also gives you advantage on attack rolls against me. So, yes. until my next turn. So, I think I'm going to risk it. Okay, so when you're using Reckless, you use it, I believe you use it with your Strength modifier instead of your... Right? No, it, it's it's only for melee whip. Like, um... All of my weapons use strengths. No. Oh, it gives you advantage. Oh. So, I yeah. Don't. So, reckless yeah. attack, it gives me advantage, but it also gives you advantage against me. Okay. I'm fine with that. You can attack recklessly. Yes, this is not frenzy, which makes me exhausted later. Yes, which you're finally... Uh, I'm not exhausted anymore. Not exhausted anymore. <laughs> Um, and so this is just a reckless attack. So it gives me advantage. I say that. Maybe I don't want to do that, that this turn. No, I'm just going to do it. Okay. Because my next turns I'll be able to use both weapons because I won't have to bonus rage. So I'm just going to do it. And I'm attacking the guy that's five feet away. Okay. Is he's the one that's right in front of Phelan, right? Yes. Mm hmm. That's within my range. I mean, I have a range of 20, but. Yeah, so it's in your range. Alright, so I get to roll with advantage. And that's a nat 20. Nat 20. Okay. Uh, roll the second one just in case. No, I did. I rolled them both at the same time. I got a 20 and a 12. Okay. So, which uh, would put me at a 25, because I have plus 5. So, um, I for this... Actually, plus 2! Wait, wait, I get plus 2 melee damage. Mmm. Okay, so what I want you to do is, um, you're going to roll your damage on your hand axe twice, add what? them together, and then add plus 4. 
Okay. So, so one D. Two. Because you yeah. get plus two to your hand axe. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, I get you plus, get plus two. two. You get plus three. Okay. Well, so I get one D six plus three normally. Yes. But because I'm you raging, a... I get another plus two. Oh shit. <laughs> with melee damage, with strength weapons, resistant, and I'm resi resistant to bludgeoning, piercing, slashing damage. Uh -huh. Um, and I gain advantage on strength checks and saving throws. So, um, okay. But my so... reckless was just advantage on the roll. So that's already done. So I'm gonna roll the one d six. So, so I got roll, three. Roll two d six. Okay. Plus six, and then the plus two. Okay. So that's five plus six is eleven. Mm -hmm. Plus two would be thirteen. I don't double my plus two, just the damage. No, you can double the plus two too. It's fine. I'll 15. give it to you. Fifteen points. Of Fifteen total. Okay. I unfortunately rolled a three and rolled a two on my d6, so I could not. I should have been able to do more damage than that, but unfortunately, I didn't. That's how the die. That's how the dice roll. I know. But that was good. Fifteen points of damn. That was good. Yep. Okay. Next up is going to. It's gonna go back into the top of initiative, and it's gonna be the first hellhound again. Still pissed at Jahan. Yep. Right in front of me. And it's going to go for another bite. Okay. And that is a natural one. Yeah. So it's going to, like, try to bite at you. But it's going to fall. Like, it's going to, like, trip and fall down. And it is currently knocked prone. <laughs> and then it is your turn. Okay. And I am reading my uh, special tricks I get to do with my staff. I do not have to swing. I do not have to even uh, roll a die. I am going to cast Lightning Strike from the staff. I did Lightning the first time. Now I'm going to cast Lightning Strike. Which, if I put it right at it, it's that creature... And anything 120 feet behind it. Through 120 feet behind it. Uh huh. <laughs> um. Each creature in that line must make a DC 17 dexterity saving throw. Okay. I want to let you know. Orlaf, not in the line. So close. So close. It is. Um. He's in the middle. So you're, he's like five feet over from what the line would be. Yeah, even though the, li the line is a five foot line. Like, it's five foot wide. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, would that hit he... him? It's a five foot wide Wait. line directly from pointed from the staff going 120 feet. No, that wouldn't be then, because five feet is the area that it would go in, so it would be going just in a straight line. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm not oh, aiming it, Tech. If he was off to the side a little bit, I could aim it at Orlath behind him, but yeah. he's right in front of me. So. So, dexterity. Yep, 17. That's a three. Yes! He takes nine D6 lightning damage. This is what happens when there's a flag. Okay, that is going to be. Hold on. I I only have eight uh D6 for some reason. <laughs> oh, let me see. There's uh 15, 19, 22, 26, 30 damage. Okay. So as you attack it with the lightning? Yep, 30 lightning damage. Uh-huh. And as you attack it... <laughs> and, like, you just see it. And it's just, as, like, as it's about to hit its face, it whimpers. 
and it, as it hit it, hits it, it goes directly like into its mouth, out the back, and it just poofs. Like it just poofs into purple smoke, as it is gone from the battlefield. And it would go pretty quick zooming by Orla. <laughs> And Orlaf is just going to remain unfazed as, like, it zooms past him. And it seems like it would, like, it seems like, again, it looks like there's a wall behind Orlaf, but it goes straight through the wall and just, when it, when, once it hits the wall, you can't see the lightning anymore. And he still, like, drinks from the goblet and just, like, glares at you. And takes another sip. That's all he's gonna do. Is that all you're gonna do this turn? Uh, it is all I can do. Okay. Next up is going to be the Hellhound that attacked all of you, and I'm gonna roll for it to recharge its fire breath, and it does not. So it's gonna go and attack. Zato. And it's going to try to bat a bite Zato. And I that should. is going to be... Yes. Does this move through a square that I have... Would I get an attack of opportunity against this creature? It would not be an attack of opportunity unless it leaves your, uh, your range. So, no. Well, that's what I was asking is where it's running from. Because this one was 15 feet away from... Oh, but it's going straight. Never mind. Okay. It's going towards you guys, not away. No, it's fine. I just, when I drew my, sorry, when I drew my map, I put them, I put it in a different spot, and so it was going a different direction. But never mind. Ah. No, you're good. You're good. But so I do have the ability to... to attack. Yes. I have the option. So, anyway. You're good. Um. Uh, what was it? Uh. Red, that's going to be a 13 to hit. Meets it, meets it, beats it. Meets it, beats it, okay. So it tried to bite you, and it ended up missing. That is all it can do. The next up is going to be... Um... Nothing. And nothing is going to step out from behind... Jahan, and it's gonna go uh, in front of Jahan this time, and it's going and he is going to point his staff at the hellhound attacking Zato. And he's gonna go, I don't think this is gonna work, but let's see. And it's gonna send out a sacred flame. And that's a deck save, which is DC 13. And the Hellhound barely met, uh, barely does not make the save. So the Hellhound is going to take one D eight. Plus just six. So they take this hellhound is gonna take six radiant damage. And yep. And that's all he is going to do. And the next uh person up is going to be Phelan. Right. Okay, um, did the, is the wolf still facing, is the wolf still trying to face me, or is it in another area? The, the hellhound is still facing you. I mean, yeah. It still, I, it turned its head that? a little bit because lemon damaged it a bit. I mean, normal damaged it a bit, but it's still, it's looking between the both of you.
So what are you gonna do? No, yeah, crossbow. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot it. Crossbow? Okay. Roll for dan uh roll for attack. Nineteen. Nineteen hits, roll for damage. Nine. Okay, nine points of damage. Alrighty. And is that all for your turn? Yep, that's all. Okay. Next up is gonna be the Hellhound. You just hit. And Nomal did the most damage on it. So it's going to attack Nomal with a bite. Okay. Nomal does a... 21 hit. Yes. Okay. And that is going to be... 1, D, 8, and... We lost Chris. We did lose Chris. We shall see if he returns. Yep. There he is. So that mm -hmm. is going to be 7 points of piercing damage. Hold on. Which, I think because you're raging... I am right, resistant. Piercing. So yes. that is going to be three points of piercing damage. And then five, I mean, not five, eight points of fire damage. Which you are not resistant to. No, I'm just resistant to bludgeoning, piercing, slashing damage. Yes. I guess I so can. So three. Eight, that's 11 points of damage overall. And then that is all it can do. You said three and then five. Ah, uh, crap. I meant three and then eight. Okay, so eight fire? Yes, eight fire, three piercing. Okay, because you said three, you said three piercing and then only five fire. I was wrong. I was only reading one of the numbers. Sorry. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Next up is going to be Zato. Alright, so there's a bloodhound in front of Nomal, right? There is a hellhound in front of you. Uh, a bloodhound. Bloodhound, yeah. I totally meant bloodhound. <laughs> hellhound. Yeah, I know. There's a hellhound in front of you, yes. and then there's a hellhound in... Now it's in between... It, yeah, it's, it, it's in front of... Uh, Phelan, but it's attacking Nomal. Okay, well, I'm gonna hit the one in front of me with the staff. Okay. Uh, roll to attack. Oh, my computer's being dumb. Stop being dumb. There we go. It's not hitting. Next person. <laughs> That's a three, and then are you gonna use anything for, uh, is there anything else you want to do? I'm gonna use the dagger. Okay, use the dagger. Roll for roll to attack. Roll to hit. I want to cry. Okay. I'm getting I'm the getting first, normal rise. The, um, the first one normal. was a th what the first one was what what a three. The yep. second one was a five. I'm getting these lemon rolls today, guys. <laughs> It's not going well. So the first one was actually a nat one. <sighs> That's not important. So it is important. When, that, when that happens, you um when you I go to hurt. attack with your no, when you go to attack with your dagger, you basically throw the dagger instead of stabbing with it. And it flies underneath the hellhound in front of you. I didn't like that dagger anyway. And then that is all for your turn. Yes? Yep. Okay, next up is gonna be normal. Alrighty. So this time... I am still raging. I'm mm -hmm. once again going to attack recklessly. Uh -huh. Because, why not? Um... But... Um... 
That's my bonus action. Well, I'll just I'll do that first, and then I'll do the bonus action because so because the I advantage is only on the first dice anyway. So I rolled a sixteen on the die plus strength is five. Hold on. 16 plus 5, yeah, with the hand axe, is 21. 21 hits. Roll for damage. So it's 1d6. Ooh, max damage, so 6 plus 3 is 9, plus another 2 is 11. 11 points of damage. Okay. And then as a bonus action, I can... Um... One attack with a light melee weapon... I can use a bonus action attack with a different light melee weapon, and I believe my die and axes are light. Yep, they're light. So I'm gonna attack actually, again. Actually. What? When you attack with the first dagger, and you deal 11 points of damage to it, once the dagger like firmly plants itself into the hellhound, yes. it poofs in a oh. thing of purple smoke. I'm sorry, I was looking at the wrong hellhound. Because this is the one in front of Phelan, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I'm- I'm attacking the one that's close to me. Yeah. So then- That one- Oops. Okay, that one's dead. But, I'm still gonna do this, because I can throw my hand axe. Mm-hmm. And, wait, is the one in front of Zato directly in front of him? Like, would they be five feet away from me now as well? Yes, now it would be five feet away from you. Then I don't have to throw my axe. I'm like, I'm yeah, just... you can still melee it. So I'm gonna melee it, and I believe I don't... Yeah, I use to attack with a different melee weapon than I'm holding, but I don't have my ability modifier to... Um, to the damage of the bonus attack. Right? I think. What so, are you using? I'm still using the hand axe. Because I have a second one. So would that mean that I don't add the plus five, or if I hit it, I don't add the plus three? Okay, let me... What what thing are we looking at? Two weapon fighting. Two weapon fighting? Where is that? It's under my bonus actions, actions in combat. I just don't know what the ability- it says you don't add your ability modifier to the damage of the bonus attack, unless that modifier so that means is you, next. So that means you don't add the plus onto it. Yeah. On the damage? On the damage. Okay, so I still would use my plus 5 for strength, I just would- it would just be a 1d6? Yes. Okay. Got it. So now I'm gonna roll. Funny enough, since I had advantage on that last one, the other one I rolled was a- was a 1. So I'm glad I had advantage. I mean, I mm-hmm. technically could have re-rolled it, but... It's a 15 on the die, plus 5 is, an, is a dirty 20. Uh, 20 hits. Roll for damage. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5. Because nope, I still no get plus. my melee damage. I get my melee damage from being raged. Oh, right. Right. Okay. That's all I added was the melee damage, not... So 5? 5 total, yes. Already? I believe I'll... I still add the melee. And I'll just do it. Okay. And is that That's all for your turn? Okay. Yep. Because I, I, I go acted, back. And I did my bonus, yeah. That's all I can do. Okay. And it's going to go back to, to, to the top of initiative order, and it's going to be Jahan's turn. Okay. Uh, Jahan wants to line up the t- literally where the last Hellhound and Orlath are in line of each and other. That would so, unfortunately you can't because that's where Zato is. Even though he would hit me and wouldn't care. Is there a wall behind us? No, there is not a wall behind. So you can get behind Zato and attack him too. Mm. Let's see. But the place directly, like in front of both the Hellhound and Orlap, or the Zato is filling that spot. That's true. 
Um, how far is uh Orloth behind the Hellhounds? Orloth is Orloth is sitting in like a chair, fifty feet away. Okay. John wouldn't care. He has a new toy and he wants to play. So he's gonna use his staff and do a uh, thunderclap. Okay. Uh, basically, I uh, basically create a deafening thunderclap to 600 feet. Each creature within 60 feet of you, not including myself, must make a DC 17 constitution saving throw. So everyone has to make a DC constitution everyone. 17 saving throw. Yep, everyone within 60 feet. Right. Everyone? Everyone. It's gonna kill us all. Oh, that's a good roll. DC 17. Oh, I want to cry. DC 17. Um, The Hellhound makes it. Mm-hmm. I rolled an 8. 17 is the... I got a um, 20. Nice. Okay, I got an 8. Lemon, what, what did normal get? 22. 22. Um, you say Hellhound con, makes right? it. Yeah, con. Yep, 22. Hellhound makes it. Um, spell ca uh, Nothing does not. And Orlap is not affected. Okay. Well, anyone that ha did not make it is uh, deafened for a minute, so they cannot hear anything. And they take 2d6. Uh, a creature takes half damage and isn't deafened if they succeed. Okay. So how much do I take? Uh, it hasn't rolled yet. Yeah, roll damage. Uh, nine. So anyone that failed takes nine damage. And can't damage. hear anything anymore. Okay, and then the half of that would be four. So anyone who succeeded takes four points of damage. Yep, anyone that had to take one from that was at least 60 feet took four damage. So, the people who didn't succeed, which is nothing in Zato, are the only yeah. people who didn't succeed. You, you, Zato, you hear a, just a, like, a deafening ringing in your ears. It's yeah. like, like, that's, you know, like, that thing that comes after, like, static is just, like, like, like that long, drawn-out beep. Mm -hmm. That is all you can hear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but everyone Maybe. heard the thunderclap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now you can't hear anything for a minute. Mm -hmm. Just ten rounds. Yeah, so just ten rounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up is going to be the hellhound. If you're done. Are you done? That's all I can yeah, do. You're done. Okay, yeah, next up is going to be the Hellhound, and the Hellhound is going to, like, stumble a bit. And it's kind of confused as it looks between you and Normal. But it's going to ta attack Normal. So, so it's going to go... Actually, no. The Hellhound is going to... Move away. So, so now, do I get my attack of opportunity? Yes, I'm going to say the people who didn't get a, an attack of opportunity on this, uh, on the Hellhound, as it's moving away, it's going to be Zato, Phelan, and Normal. Do you all get attacks of opportunity as it's you moving? Mean, wouldn't it be? Jahan not failing. 
No, it goes me, uh, it goes Jahan, Phelan, then normal, then, or Jahan, Zato. No, Zato's in the middle. Yeah, Zato's in the middle. Oh, so yeah, so it would the be order me. From, so left to right, yes, is going to be, oh, no. Wait, this is the one attacking. Oh, yeah, so no, it's going to be Jahan, Phelan, and, no, not Phelan. Not Phelan. Jahan, Zato, normal. normal, Zato, and no Zato, more. and nothing. Because nothing moved forward to try to attack him. Oh, so all I don't four know of you are getting though. attacks of opportunity. <laughs> Nat 20. Nothing is, nothing is in front of Jahan. Okay, Nat 20, you go first. Roll, roll for damage. <laughs> puts that technically at a 25. Jesus Christ. So. <laughs> yep. I, I, it's a melee attack, so it's one, it's one d6 plus three. And but I roll mm -hmm. you, I don't double it. I roll two d6 and then plus six. Yep. Because you. So Nat 12 20. damage. Okay. Wait, how, plus my how two, do, plus my two, plus my how four. Do do, how do you want to do this? <laughs> um, so normal's still raging because she annoyingly got pulled into this place. Um, and I was already kind of pissed off because she couldn't find the horse and just wanted to get on the road to get where they're going because they have a mission and they, they gotta save things and they gotta do things. And, um, and she sees this health hound like trying to leave and she's like no like we're gonna like if you're gonna fight us we're gonna fight and she just takes the hand axe and she just like she doesn't throw it but she like swings it across and um hits the guy hits the, hits the hell hound with all of her force of 20 what <laughs> 16 damage total yeah Enough. So as so as you attack the hellhound, and you're like taking your like your rage out on it, it poops as soon as you hit it. And as soon as the last one poops, Orlock stands up from his chair and just starts clapping. Well done. Well done. And now you all get a little something from me. And Healing? You thank, and you can thank Zato for this. Because he was the one who gave me this idea. Don't You're put this on me. Do we and get healing? You all, and you all get moved up to level 5. Ah! Yay! Yay! And that You're is where we're cool. ending tonight's session. <laughs> Oh my god. Can we also ask him to heal us, please? Mm -hmm. Nope. I'm exactly... Yeah. Hey, I'm exactly where I started that fight at. <laughs> yeah, no, you, yeah. no, you didn't take the brunt of the damage. Uh, I took the brunt and of the damage at the very first fight. At the very and first test. Here, see, and here is the fun part. Because I looked this up during the session. So, Red, you don't get a choice about what your third level spell is going to be. You're you're going to get fly, and you can't stop me. <laughs> That's so, fair. So that is why I leveled you up, is because you wanted to fly. So I'm giving oh, you fly. So Zeno is literally just like me. It's so funny. So I am, I'm literally <laughs> giving you fly now, and you can't stop me. Do yeah. we want to do that now, or do we want to do I it off, lie. or do we want to do it next time we are live? We will do it off. Okay. Yeah, right. And we will tell everyone... When we get back. What? Yeah, we will tell everyone when we get back. And we should be back at the beginning of July. Yep. So, yep. thank you all for tuning in. Mm -hmm. And you got to see our people level up more because someone decided they wanted to level up. So I gave it to them. That's not <laughs> what I meant. And they all seem so not... upset with me. No, no you, know, what you know what's meant. bad is I don't even get the fun stuff for, like, my character until, like, level 10 anyway. <laughs> 
Level 10 to level, like, 15 is when I get, like, all the dragon-type abilities. Mm -hmm. I'm excited because I get to multiplay ass. That is true. Ooh, I guess yeah, tying is it's, cool. Now it's in the uh, multi-class spin. So I think... Nope. I think we've hit... Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out... Because I was literally, like, when... when uh, Red said he wanted to fly. I was literally just like, crap, is that a warlock spell? <laughs> and I had to look it up. I was like, yes, yes, it is a warlock spell. What level does it need to be? It's a level three spell. They need to level up once. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's why I said he kept flipping through a book, because that's what I was doing. I'm like, okay, we can find this. Can find yeah, this. you we can. can find this. Uh, your original flipping through the book, we could hear, I could at least hear. The page is being moved. Oh, yeah, I actually heard a book. Um, <laughs> yep. Oh, gosh. But yes. So, uh... I'm either going to get blamed or I'm going to get thanked. Yeah. No more going to attack me in the next episode. No, no one's going to make you heal ultimate. me in the next episode. <laughs> and slap me. We, we got to just make you heal me. We got the child that can heal. We got the other child that can heal. No, yes. Nothing. Who, oh, who I want to say, almost died. <laughs> almost died for him. How? That's he, what I want to say. He is currently at four hit points. Okay, oh, baby, no. baby only has, okay, you guys, you guys have like 30, uh, what, 30, 32, 38, and 41 at the moment, and I don't know if you guys have leveled up yet. He has 22 hit points. He is a, he's a squishy little healer. He, <laughs> Like, he's squishy, but, and that thunderclap did a lot to him. But we found out that during Pathfinder, healers can last longer than anybody if they do it right. <laughs> yes, but okay, there's a difference though, because Gwen is, Gwen's character is actually a cleric. Uh -huh. This one is a companion character, mm -hmm. literally called a spellcaster healer. And it's just supposed to be there for a companion. It's not an actual drawn out, actually made up character. True. So that's why he ain't doing so well. He's not he's he's not supposed to be the main person. He's just there. Yes. Well, for the audience, Noma got down to seventeen of her forty one hit points. Oh, I was down to fourteen of my thirty on that one attack. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Okay, Phelan is down currently to 19 and Zato of uh, thir Okay, Phelan is 19 out of 32 and Zato is 20 out of 38, but I just leveled up Zato. Uh-huh, and I will level up I mine. Need to give him yep. But, I will level up off. But yes, we will level, level up off. And that is the end of tonight's episode. And so, not part of my choices. Yes. We are we're not there's no Pathfinder next week. Mm-mm. We got people but out of there, town, so... But there is a stream tomorrow. Yes! Games! I do not know what I am going to play, but we'll figure it out. Um, and we're going to raid Femme Gamer Party. They are doing a charity stream, raising money for this Trevor Project. For young LGBTQ Yay. lives. Go Trevor Project. Yes. Yes. Hashtag support. Exactly. So let's go support. and support. Yeah. Yep. All support. Ah, and we will be back next time. Bye, everybody. Stay in the channel. Bye. Bye. Bye.